list of tools of equipment to carry out the activities. Third, uh, diagrams and figures for process flow, flow chart, sketches or relevant data, and also uh, if uh, drawing. And four, result and outcomes of the activities. Five, constructive comment, reason and suggestions for improvement. And lastly, a reference if you have uh, used textbooks, standards or other technical documents as a reference. As reference. So this one is the item that you need to record in the logbook uh, daily. So this guideline also are uh, already mentioned in the logbook and you can go through the uh, logbook. Next one, uh, besides logbook, you need also to do uh, or to write executive summary. So the main objective of executive summary is to evaluate skill in written communication while the oral communication will be evaluated during presentation. And then uh, for the executive summary, meaning that is a brief report on selected or major projects reported in the logbook. And the student can use this opportunity to evaluate the training placement and uh, rekasan executive wajib ditulis dalam bahasa Melayu. So executive summary uh, kena tulis dalam bahasa Melayu. But uh, for international students, they can write in English. And detail format can be found in logbook. Next is the, the deadline. So for your executive summary and logbook that you write, that you had write, must be submitted to UKM Folio by the first academic week of 2021-2022 session. And as that date will be announced. So, so I will uh, remind from time to time in the WhatsApp group. So for uh, starting this year, we uh, do not have a uh, hard copy. Everything will be in a uh, soft copy. So uh, your executive summary and logbook, uh, you can upload it into UKM Folio. Next is employer evaluation. So uh, when you go for uh, attachment for industrial training, uh, your supervisor or your engineer at the company will evaluate your performance during uh, your internship. So based on the one and five Likert scale, whether you have adequate background knowledge and ability to apply your knowledge, your punctuality, capability and efficiency, Hello. Okay, sorry for the interruption. Uh, can you uh, see my slide and can you hear my voice? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, just now I disconnected from the internet. Okay, I will continue. Uh, so this one, uh, your, your supervisor will evaluate uh, your performance during your internship and will give an, uh, marks to you about 30% from the total, 100%. And also your behavior and your appearance. So for student presentation, you need to do a presentation on what you have learning on or what uh, you have doing, activ activities that ha you have been doing during your internship. And you need to present uh, to the uh, lecturer. So it's an individual presentation. Must be in English 
and the presentation will be carried out tentatively in October or November 2021 and the schedule will be posted later. Uh, later on, I will share the schedule uh, at the end of uh, meaning maybe in October or November. So this one, uh, please take note, this is the grading for this course and how you will be evaluated. From this table, as you can see, logbook consists of 35% marks. So meaning that if you submit your logbooks, you will get 5% for attendance, meaning that if you every day come to the office or come to the uh, your place of uh, your particular training, come to the company and full attendance, you automatically get uh, 10 marks. And the content of your logbook, 20%, meaning that uh, for the content of your logbook, you follow the guideline on what you should write in your logbook and you must write your activities daily. So please state the date and get uh, verified by the supervisor or engineer at uh, the company and signed by the supervisor at the company. So this uh, logbook 35%. And for next one is executive summary. As I mentioned uh, before, executive summary must be written in Bahasa Melayu. So this one uh, consists of 15% and will be evaluated from a lecturer, other lecturer in a civil engineering department. Next one is employer evaluation. For employer evaluation, its consists are about 30%. So this one, your supervisor at the company will evaluate your performance. And if you are good, they will give you uh, accordingly to your performance. And the full mark is 30%. Uh, next item is communication, ethics, and professionalism. So this one consists of presentation. So presentation, uh, please uh, do the presentation in English and it consists of 10%. And next one is attendance uh, briefing, meaning that uh, if you come from for today briefing, you will get uh, a good mark. Sir. And also obedient to instruction, meaning that if I send anything to the WhatsApp group and you respond accordingly and feedback accordingly for um, from what I want, and all, and you automatically will get uh, 30, uh, 10%. For 10% is attendance to the briefing and obedience to instruction. So this one uh, consists, uh, at the total marks is 20% for presentation and attendance and obedience to instruction. So uh, the total marks uh, from logbook, executive summary, employer's evaluation, Communication, ethic, and professionalism is 100%. So you will be uh, graded based on this mark. So you you will be given A. Jika uh, your marks is between 75 until 100, 100 marks. Grade B, 60 until 74. Grade C, 50 until 59. And grade E, 0 until 49. Uh, however, this uh, mark does not include in the calculation of your CGPA. However, you need to pass uh, this training uh, this training course in order for you to graduate. So, uh, reminder, sila ambil perhatian bahawa pelajar boleh digagalkan dan perlu mengulangi keseluruhan latihan tersebut sekiranya uh, diberhentikan daripada meneruskan latihan oleh pihak majikan atau sebab-sebab disiplin dan tindakan tata tertib dan gagal menyempurnakan uh, tempo 12 minggu latihan. Therefore, you will be automatically uh, fail. Please be informed that any student who are terminated or their training cancelled for any reason whatsoever will be regarded as fail. E. Therefore, you need to uh, Ulang baliklah this course because this course you need to pass in order for you to graduate. Okay, uh, thank you. So uh, before that I will share, uh, before I end I will share this uh, logbook. 
So can you see this logbook? Yes. So uh, as uh, I explained starting this year, there are no more hard, hard copy. So this will only be a uh, soft copy. So uh, please read uh, thoroughly uh, this logbook because all uh, instruction or all guidelines already mentioned in this logbook. So this one is panduan pengendalian uh, buku log dan um, you can read this instruction and this uh, apa yang perlu direkodkan dalam uh, buku log is already mentioned what uh, need to be written in the logbook and as I mentioned uh, buku, buku log ni kena tulis hari-hari aktiviti kamu hari-hari dan uh, what uh, you need to write is based on this guideline and uh, catatan kamu tu perlu dapat uh, verify by the engineer or supervisor at the company. Uh, he or she must uh, sign your record activities. Okay, next one this is also uh, very important. You know, please fill up this uh, data accordingly. So uh, we need to know uh, your supervisor name, uh, which department and the address of your of the company or organization and number telephone yang boleh dihubungi. So untuk memudahkan uh, pensyarah melawat kamu nanti. So, uh, lawatan pensyara akan diadakan pada minggu ketiga until minggu ke sembilan semasa kamu menjalani uh, latihan industri. Okey, ini pula merupakan format rekasan eksekutif. So, uh, kat sini memang dah, dah tulis lah apa uh, di, di format and what you need to write, write in the executive summary. So, dari segi bilangan halaman, uh, 6 ke 10 muka surat and jarak space, one and a half spacing, tidak termasuk uh, front cover, size kertas A4 and hard ruang text. Uh, to, this one is margin, so 2.5 cm dari kiri, kanan, atas, dan bawah. So, uh, before you write your executive summary, uh, please make sure you set the margin first accordingly. And font, tulisan uh, Times New Roman, 12. So, ini merupakan uh, kandungan executive summary. Dan maklumat yang perlu ada. So, ada part A, B, C and D. So, part A ialah maklumat tentang pelajar dan organisasi latihan. So, this is the uh, details or maklumat yang kamu perlu tulis. And then, next is the maklumat tentang program latihan. Uh, the a brief discussion about the organization, uh, what your responsibility or your uh, tugasan atau projek yang diberikan kepada kamu, jadual kerja dan also uh, gun chat, carta gun sepanjang 12 minggu kamu menjalani uh, LI. And next one is part C, uh, penerangan perincian uh, untuk setiap tugasan atau projek yang perlu dilaporkan. So uh, termasuklah tugasan atau tajuk projek the penerangan tentang tugasan and perkara-perkara yang telah dipelajari daripada projek tersebut dan hubung kaitkan teori yang kamu dah belajar dalam kelas daripada tahun 1 sampai tahun 3 dengan pengalaman praktikal with some example and last part is kesimpulan dan cadangan penambahbaikan program program latihan industri ni so this one already mentioned in this logbook so please follow the guideline that already uh, provided. So and uh, and the uh, section five is uh, record latihan. So record latihan ni kamu perlu tulis hari-hari dan perlu disemak oleh penyedia kamu di uh, tempat LI. So uh, Untuk slide dan um, buku logbook ni saya akan bagi uh, maybe by today in the uh, WhatsApp group.
Okay, that's all for my presentation today. So thank you for listening and for attending this session. So any question, I open for question and answer. Mm, okay, okay, I want to ask about the logbook. Okay. Uh, do we need to print out the logbook and then writing uh, in handwriting or just typing? Uh, you can type. Uh, macam ni kalau kamu tulis pakai tangan, nanti kamu kena scan pula. Kamu kena scan, kamu kena upload dalam UKM folio. Boleh juga asalkan uh, asalkan soft copy tapi macam leceh. Uh, ah, ni sebab nak dapatkan, nak ha. dapatkan apa ni, sign daripada supervisor setiap, setiap hari. So macam mana tu? Uh, sekarang ni kita ada uh, digital, sign digital. Boleh minta sign okay, digital okay. ataupun sign digital. Uh, ataupun um, boleh juga kalau kamu nak uh, tulis tangan, print minta sign. Tapi kamu kena scan baliklah. Sebab saya nak uh, dalam bentuk PDF atau dalam bentuk soft copy. Kamu punya logbook nanti. Uh, maksudnya uh, you can choose either way lah that uh, convenience to you. Okay, uh, saya nak tanya ramai ke lagi yang tak dapat tempat ya. Sebab kalau ikutkan uh, maklumat yang saya dapat dalam 20 orang yang tak dapat tempat lagi. Tapi saya akan cuba uh, cuba apply, uh, uh, cuba discuss dengan company yang willing to take internship during this uh, pandemic COVID-19. Doktor? Ya, ya. Presentation uh, dengan lecture yang melawat tu, uh, uh, presentation buat masa lecture datang melawat ke? Uh, tak. Presentation uh, masa dah habis LI. Pada penghujung minggu ke-12. Uh, presentation tu uh, kamu kena present pada pensyara di pensyara-pensyara di fakulti eh di Jabatan Kejuruteraan Awam. Ada uh, orang yang akan evaluate kamu dan akan bagi markah. So masa lecture datang datang melawat tu apa benda yang kau nak kena buat? Uh, dia akan jumpa kamu dan uh, kamu punya supervisor and then kamu uh, brief lah uh, your activities during uh, your internship. Maybe you involve in a project, uh, some project. Uh, okay, tapi um, saya uh, dapatkan kepastian dulu. Dan apa-apa saya akan uh, inform through WhatsApp. Sebab uh, yang sebelum ni, sebelum ni uh, presentation tu hanya kepada uh, pensyarah di jabatan di jabatan Kejutan Awam. Dan uh, mereka yang akan evaluate kamu punya practical training presentation. Tapi masa lawatan tu, uh, dia orang uh, need to know what your uh, activities during your internship or any project that you are involved. Tapi tak apa, uh, nanti saya akan confirmkan balik. Masa pensyara melawat tu kamu perlu present atau tak. Tapi as far as I concern, uh, kamu dah habis LI baru kamu kena present overall. Okay, uh, buat masa ni uh, pelajar yang dah dapat tempat kamu boleh uh, riki-riki lah company tu sebut sama ada uh, dia orang uh, work from home atau work uh, face to face atau bergile-gile kamu boleh start tanya lah because uh, for you to uh, fully prepare for your internship.
Okey, doktor. Doktor nak tanya? Ah, ya. Untuk logbook tu kan? Uh, boleh buat dalam BM ke BI ke mana-mana? Mana-mana? Okay, kat sini ada kepelajar yang dah dapat tempat tapi uh, last minute company company reject tawaran tarik balik tawaran Uh, doktor, masih sempat lagi ke nak tukar tempat LI kalau dapat? Boleh. So, uh, as far as I uh, concern, um, sebelum pelajar nak pergi LI pun ada lagi pelajar yang uh, boleh, uh, you can choose lah kat mana tempat nak buat LI. Sebelum tarikh uh, 25 atau 26 Julai tu. Okay, thank you doktor. Okay, kalau ikut uh, attendance ni 78 orang uh, Sahaja yang hadir pada Telimak pagi ni Kalau ikutkan rekod saya ada 105 Orang pelajar Yang perlu menjalani attendance ni hmm, Please uh, make sure uh, Kamu dah register ya This course Doktor nak tanya pasal Sebab hmm. uh, Apa yang nak bertanya tadi ya? Please yang ip Saya tak dengar sebut tanya Tak jelas lah, tak jelas. Better you type lah, type. Tak komen. Okay, listening it, you can type in the chat. Uh, ada lagi apa-apa soalan? Kemuskilan? Ya, kalau boleh saya uh, saya nak bagi semua A lah. Dengan syarat kamu uh, buat apa yang saya minta Dari segi logbook, executive summary, presentation uh, Doktor, before this memang kena buat harian lah logbook Bukan mingguan uh, Harian Daily, daily activities Okay, dulu masa saya dulu dia hari A mingguan. Okay, okay. Okay, Ali Sip. Kamu nak tanya tadi? Oh, saya nak tukar tarikh surat rentas negeri. Okay, ah, kamu dah isi... Uh, Google form tu Kan, so kamu boleh edit Di Excel yang saya share dekat Google Drive Okay Di Sengip, uh, you can edit di uh, In the Excel file that I share in Google Drive If you want to change the date
Okey kalau tak ada uh, soalan lagi uh, setakat ini saja. Terima kasih uh, for attending this uh, session. Uh, Apa-apa saya akan maklumkan dari uh, semasa ke semasa uh, through WhatsApp group. So please uh, be alert. Uh, dan saya ucapkan selamat menjalani latihan gerasi dan uh, please take care everyone. Okay, I will share back the QR code. Thank you, Doctor. Okay. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you, Doctor. Okay. Thank you, Doctor. Okay. Thank you, Doctor. Okay. All right. Uh, Assalamualaikum, Doctor. Uh, yeah. Saya guna phone untuk uh, aktif ni boleh tak kalau saya bagi nama dengan nombor metrik? Uh, boleh type dekat chat tak? Nanti saya masukkan. Uh, Okey, terima kasih tu. Okey.